Hey y'all, what's up? We are back, honey. We are back for another uh court watch along okay we got to check out this court case it looks like the dad may not want to have anything to do with the child um maybe because it's probably not his or maybe he wants to get the dna test to find out that it is his before he decides he wants to spend time with the child so we are about to get into this real life court case make sure that you guys are indeed coming into the video you are liking the video supporting the channel um sharing the video subscribing and all of that great jazz okay we are about to go ahead and get into it so let us do just that okay i just want to highlight right, uh, yes money bags like why Atlanta, is your name Jones, money Levier, bags. and erica versi please unmute and turn your cameras i thought both of them were here did we just lose one of them i believe both parties for number 23 are now here okay let's, okay. let's make sure you're in a quiet place erica versi uh please unmute and turn on your camera he's supposed to be so unprofessional do you both swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, happy God? Even the court report. Yes. yes. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, um, this is a case where we're seeking to add another minor um, to this case uh, based on positive DNA. The parties have reached a partial agreement. Ma'am, can you state your name for the record? Erica Novella Versi. And ma'am, did um, can you state the ages of the children in this case? Five years old and eight and a half months. Eight and months. there was um, a DNA test done. Yes, ma'am, for both. For both. And what were the results of those tests? You are the father. Yeah! Positive, positive. <laughs> um, ma'am, did you hear the agreed portions that I read into the record? Yes, ma'am. Are those still your agreements? As far as the numbers on payment? Yes. No. Um, which portion do you not agree with? I don't agree with the 125 monthly. Oh. I don't All agree right. with the back pay. Ma'am, are you talking about the child support arrears? No, ma'am. No. I'm really just talking about the monthly amount for LaMarcus. Oh, so going, for, going forward, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, let me clarify each portion, um, and maybe that'll help move this along. Okay. So the agreements that were entered into as we understood them, was that child support going forward for both children would be $377 a month. Do you disagree or agree with that amount? Yes, I disagree with that. Oh, okay. Okay, and what is the, um, okay, so let's just go by the other agreements and we'll come back to that one. Okay. Um, how is the child currently receiving insurance? Medicaid. Is there any other type of insurance available for the child? At the moment, no. The state has asked for the father to reimburse the state $51. Are you in objection to that? No, ma'am. Okay. We, uh, the state has um, calculated I know you're in a disagreement with the child Judge, support. I never want to be here. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the child support um, in the past, the arrearage amount. Okay. The state has asked for a hundred dollar payment. Of course, you can ask for that to be increased or decreased on mm -hmm. eleven thousand one hundred and eighty-four dollars. Do you disagree with those terms? I do. I do. I disagree. Um, all right. Not the court reporter shaking her head. Why do you disagree with I'm uh, that term? This is ghetto. That's the same amount it was even just with lands by himself. I think it needs to be raised at least. And not ghetto because these are black people. Okay. But more so ghetto because we're not supposed to be able to see you have a reaction, Miss Court Reporter. 
white or black, you not supposed to have no reaction. You up there like, girl, she a mess. This bitch don't want nothing. Like she just she she disagree with everything. I see what you try. You trying to stiff this young man. We see what you doing here, shaking her head. Girl, let's keep going. But see, her name is Quinlan Jones. His name is Delance Jones. I mean, y'all know each other or something because her name is a court reporter. But let's keep going. Fifty to seventy-five dollars. Okay, so you would be your your um, request to the court is that the payout amount be different. Is that correct? Yes, as far as him paying a hundred dollars on his old okay. balance, I think it should be raised a little bit. Oh, understood. Wow. Um, what would you like that payout to be? The, of, are you talking about the one twenty five? Ma'am, the I I'm not sure where you got the one twenty five. I'm telling you now that w I'm asking you now, what would you instead of the hundred that the state is asking for for payout for the uh, child support arrears? What would 175. you? Oh, 175. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right. Um, and then the medical support arrears, the state calculated that was $64.96. Do you object to a payout of $10 per month for that? No, ma'am. Okay. That only leaves the issue of child support at 377. Can you please state why you do not agree with that calculation? I think it needs to be raised a little bit higher due to how things have come and came about and how it have turned out. I, me personally, I'm pretty sure and I know for a fact, just in the past three years, he's made more than the three years before that. So I know you're making more money now and there's no reason why you should not be able to pay when you knew already that the kids now this is where the judge probably gonna try and jump in and be, he gonna probably ask for a little piece of evidence because it's one thing to say it but do you have any evidence to prove for a fact that you know he's making more now hopefully he's producing his records to be able to show like yeah your honor i did make more in the past three years period were yours and you put me in this predicament all right ma'am do you know what the father does for a living yes i do what is that um, he works at a mechanic shop. And ma'am, do you know how much, and how do you know that he works at a mechanic shop? Um, well, I've been knowing him for over 18 years and we just had a recent fallout over the past two or three months where we have not been communicating or things like that. And most of that has to do with the new child because it's just gotten really out of hand. So I've pretty much been knowing what he's been doing. Okay, and ma'am, do you know unless you have a new job, maybe in the past month or so? Ma'am, can you let me ask my question? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Ma'am, how much does he make? I don't know how much he makes. I just know where he works. Okay. And ma'am, who makes the day-to-day -day decisions over your child's life? I do. Um, would you be able to work with the father to make those day-to-day -day decisions in the future? No, I've been doing that for the past five years. Mm -hmm. Do you have any objection with keeping the children in Dallas County um, or surrounding counties? Yes, ma'am. And what is your objection to a geographic restriction? Why? Okay, why? Because if I have an opportunity that comes about, ma'am, I don't want to be restricted from not taking it. I risked doing that with the first case with Lance before the new baby came, and I agreed to that. And it, had, it has been nothing but bad from then to now with me trying to be the bigger person, trying to make sure that he's seeing his dad, that he's in his dad's life. Mm -hmm. I can't keep, I have to make sure that we are good. I have two kids that I have to worry about. He has a wife that helps support him and other people that support those other kids. Objection not responsive. So... Saying. that's why ma'am if you can just answer my question um i don't want to be restricted ma'am if i have an option where i can go better for me and my kids okay. when i've already <laughs> attempted to stay for those same reasons and do you have any um job like a job lined up in a different part of texas or the u.s well my job is 
pretty much nation like nationwide. So I don't have a job lined up somewhere else. No. Okay. And ma'am, what super, uh, <laughs> what visitation do you think would be appropriate for um, your children? Um, Saturdays or Sundays and um, um, just hours for the baby because um, like maybe lands can stay, I guess, Saturdays, Saturday night or something, or they can just see them on Sunday and maybe one day through the week, um, not and Friday through Sunday. Has the um, has either of the children visited with a father in the past? Um, the baby has not at all. And Lance, we had set a court order for first and third weekend of every month, mm -hmm. and it has not worked out at all, and it's put me in a bind. Um, are there safety concerns um, with the father having access to the children? having access to them. Um, I wouldn't say there's safety concerns with them having access to them, no. So what has been the issue with the visitation that was previously court ordered? What has been the problem? He's not following it and that's putting me in a bind, ma'am. So when you say bind, what do you mean? If you are ordered first, third weekend of every month if i have a job if i have things to do that means that's a set time so i'm expecting to do what i have to do on my set my schedule communicating with me you're supposed to be there at 6 p.m on friday all the way to 6 p.m on sunday and you call me or text me on friday at 11 o'clock at night hey i was helping somebody move i forgot that's not logical ma'am mm -mm. And it happens pretty often. Mm -hmm. That's I can't work with that. Listen, since the last, I hate to say it, but uh, yeah, if he ain't trying to get them kids and be active in their life like that, and you coming up with an excuse, I wouldn't accept none of that damn child support they trying to offer either. Okay, I'm gonna need a little more money out y'all, and so I'll be able to get the child care that I need, so I can do this that I need to do since y'all, and so I ain't gonna come to get them and do your part. Order, has there been any, any incidents of family violence between you and the father of the children? Family violence, no. And let me pause and say this. I don't know where that music is coming from. But let me also say this too. Girl, did you say that he got a whole wife and stuff to help him and all this and that, but you also got a baby by him? And do you got an older child by him? When did he get married to the lady? After this last baby? Or was he married to the lady when you went and had kids by him. This is messy. All right. Um, does the father know where you live, ma'am? Yes. Is there a, any reason you or um, any reason why your address should be private from this court order? No. All right. Um, and ma'am, do you have any additional information you'd like to offer to the judge regarding this case? Um, yes. Um, once again, like I said, him not getting him when he's supposed to, and this is something that he wanted, and I'm trying to let him have it first and third weekend of every month is very difficult when you're not communicating with me, or you think that you can just call when you feel like it, like I don't have a life or I don't have things to do as well. And there's another child here as well that I have to take care of that you're that you pay no mind to, you don't even look his way, you'll look the other way, and he's your child, and you know that, of course. So that has put me in a very big bind. You do not have a bed for my son. He's supposed to have his own bed. He does not have a bed. He does not have a car seat. Mm -hmm. This was ordered in the last one. He doesn't have any of that. My son oh, told me wow. he slept on the floor once. Maybe it was by accident, but it shouldn't be by accident, by choice, by nothing. Laughing, he has though. a bed, he has a room, he, he has a home. Baby, let me tell you, I would have paused. It couldn't be my courtroom. I would have paused all of this shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? I would have paused all of this shit. I don't want to see no smirks, no laughs, no nothing. This whole leaning back, y'all, is just doing in this damn seat. We not finna do that here in this courtroom, okay? You gonna sit up straight. I understand, y'all, it might be at work, and I'm giving you the space to be on this call and making it convenient for you so you ain't got to bring your ass down to this courtroom. Hello? But if we need to get it and pack it up and bring it in, we will get it, pack it up, and bring it in. Okay, I'm with the other judge, the lady that was collecting the people in the court in the courtroom. 
Sit up straight. Act like you got some motherfucking manners because I'm sure your parents taught you better than that. Do not get relaxed here because this is still a professional setting. I don't give a f what you do on somebody else's time, but on my time, you're going to get it to motherfucking get her. Okay? But this judge, he damn tired as hell and halfway don't even want to fucking be there. Tired of hearing all these damn cases all day. He tired, so he don't really give a damn. But he would have got it together. I don't want to see your mouth moving, sir, until we get over there to talk to you. Period. Thank so you, ma'am. I shouldn't have to have issues with him staying the night anywhere. Thank you, ma'am, for that information. <laughs> um, sir, can you state your name for the record? The last Jones Levere. And sir, did you re um, hear the agreements I read into the um, record earlier? Yes, ma'am. I heard, ma. Okay. Are you still in agreement? Well, are you still okay with those terms? Uh, I'm okay with the child support payment, the hundred whatever. I'm not okay with the back pay. I mean, who so pays just the to. Go ahead, so I'll, I'll go through each term just to be clear, since there was um, a disagreement. Um, the state has calculated child support in the amount of $377 um, beginning uh, July 1st. Are you okay with that? Yes, ma'am. Um, do you have any private insurance for your child? No. The state has asked for $51 for cash medical support. Do you object to that amount? No. Um, the state has calculated um, retroactive child support arrears at $866. Are you okay with that? No, I'm not. Okay, we'll return to that one. Um, the state has uh asked for a child support arrears judgment at $11,184.91 uh, $11, to be paid at $100 a month. Are you in agreement with that? Is that that's that's everything for Lance and him, right? For this, is, this is for back child support. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not, sorry. I'm not okay me. with that. I'm not okay excuse with that. Well, let me let me um, restate it correctly. This is for the child support arrears, what is owed. Right. I shouldn't be paying that much for Lance or him. I did okay. more for Lance than they said I did. And then the Marcus, I never did anything for him because who does something for a child they don't even know is his? I mean, it, that's one of the reasons I haven't done anything for the baby because I didn't know it was mine. I was waiting on verification that the child was mine and then I don't have a problem helping or doing anything. Okay, sir. Um, we have that the state has calculated medical support arrears in the amount of $64.96. Are you in agreement to pay that at $10 off a month? Yes, ma'am. And um, let's move on to conservatorship. Sir, um, who do the children mm -hmm. live with right now? They stay with her mom. Have the children ever resided with you? No, just visitations. Okay. And do you think you and the mother can work together to make day-to-day -day decisions regarding the children? I can. I mean, if she ain't got an attitude about half the time I call. Uh, excuse me, sir. Um, you already cannot communicate effectively in my personal because if you could you would get the kids on the chosen weekend as it has already been ordered by the court and also the other things that the court has ordered for you to do you have done it already so do not say what you can do and communicate effectively when you haven't even done your part from the first court order okay it's what it's giving sir hello you are in the the problem let's keep going and can't even call now. I'm blocked now. I can't even call. <laughs> and sir, um, what county do you live in? Collin County. Okay. Um, do you object with their with the mother's request that there be no restriction on her address? Oh no, I don't, I don't mind. Okay. Um, and sir, what do you do for a living? Mechanic. 
tire repairs, anything automobile. All right, sir. And how much do you um, earn per month? I get seven hundred dollars a week, so add that up about twenty three, twenty four hundred, twenty five hundred, something like that. A week or a month? I get paid weekly seven hundred a week, so that's like what twenty four hundred a month. All right, well, give me like, more than that. It's probably like twenty eight hundred. But then, if you got taxes, your honor, give me one out, moment to double more. check um, how we calculated. All right. Um, and sir, you understand that the state calculated child support based on that um, wage information. Yes. All right. Um, and sir, what visitation do you think is appropriate? Um, for the new baby, she can have whatever she wants. I really don't even care. But for Lance, I want him. I want him my. I want my first day fifth weeks. Wait, sir. Wait, uh, sir. Sir, this is your child, sir. It's been proven that this last baby is your child. Now, just because you didn't want the child, it's not their baby's fault. It's your fault because you shouldn't have been over there humping and bumping. Okay? You shouldn't have been over there humping and bumping if you didn't want this baby. Now, you got the results to know that this your child. You don't want to have anything to do with the child, but you want to bring around Lance. Trifling ass. Uh, you don't want to let me see the new baby. I don't got to see him. I mean, it don't bother me at all. Now, ma'am, if you ain't letting this man see the baby, then your grandma the baby, okay? <laughs> In the words of hustling, okay? Listen, you need to let that man see his child, because let me tell you something. He over there, so if I ain't got to see the baby, I ain't fin if she don't want me to see the baby, I ain't got to see him. No, 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 that's not how that should go. You should want to see your child, because I'd be damned if I'm going to be paying child support for a child I do not see. Hello? Period. So... Don't be like that trying to be spiteful because she don't want to, I'm going to give you what you want type thing. See your kid. Because that's not fair that that baby get to watch the sibling go off and be with their daddy. But they get stuck behind. Then now you're creating an issue. Both of y'all would be, in my opinion, creating an issue where the baby feels like daddy doesn't love the child. Okay? You favor the other child over me because of y'all decisions and mistakes. Get that shit together. And then the judge better tell him you better not ever go over there and pick up one child and think you're not going to get the other one. Period. When both of these is your child. Like, this is what she want to do. That's what she want to do. I mean, I, if I miss a day and call Saturday and say, hey, I missed a day, I still can't see Lance. So <laughs> on the same week. All right. I mean, so I'm used to, I'm cust I've grown custom to not seeing them at all. So. It really doesn't bother me if I see him or not now. Oh, Has wow. there been any family violence? Um, no. Well, let me finish the question. Have there been any, has there been any family violence um, between you and the mother? Verbal. But other than that, no. This thing is verbal. Um, when you say verbal, what do you mean? I verbal. cuss her out. Oh. I, okay. I stake my piece when I when she don't answer the phone when she blocked me I send text messages of me cussing her out oh because wow because she blocked me because she don't like I'm when I call serious. or if I'm too busy to pick them up on a one day and call the next day to come pick them up I don't get to get them when was the last time you um, cussed her out uh last Friday when I tried to get Lance which wasn't Wait, my week honest. when was the last did time you, you threaten her, her out? Did no you? I don't do no threatening I just cuss her out call her stupid or you know, call out a name or something I ain't never threatened or said anything violent like I'm come hurt you or nothing I don't do that I don't wish harm on her I just cuss her out mm -mm. Um, look, uh, look, not court report I'm with you now I'm with you you would like to offer to the court uh, no, besides of why, why would you try to take them and leave? You ain't got no job. Nothing. You don't do nothing but sit at home all day or walk around the streets. Why, why try to take them and leave? Oh. Well, it don't make sense. That's the only thing I'm trying to figure out. And sir, I do have one more question. Um, when you cuss her out um, and you admit to that, do you do that in front of the children? No, I saw it by text. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and make my ruling. Uh, obviously, we're establishing that the new child 
it's Mercy Jones's child by the DNA testing. Uh, if we don't have any evidence of any other income, then child support set at three seventy seven a month. Uh, I understand you may not be in agreement with that, but that is the number. Uh, government medical is the only thing that's available to both of you for health insurance. Medical support is fifty one dollars a month. Mr. Jones, you became the father when the child was born, not when the DNA tests were done. Ooh. You have an obligation Ooh. to support the second child from the date of birth. So that's why there's a little bit of a difference there. It's your child support should have gone up a little when the child was born, well, which is the additional health the insurance. Sense of any other income, then child support set at three seventy seven. Let me go ahead and make my ruling. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we're establishing that the new child is Mercy Jones's child by the DNA testing. Uh, if we don't have any evidence of any other income, then child support set at three seventy seven a month. Uh, I understand you may not be in agreement with that, but that is the number. Uh, government medical is the only thing that's available to both of you for health insurance. Medical support is fifty one dollars a month. Mr. Jones, you became the father when the child was born, not when the DNA tests were done. You have an obligation to support the second child from the date of birth. So that's why there's a little bit of a difference there. Mm -hmm. It's your mm -hmm. child support should have gone up a little when the child was born, which is the additional $866. That's You're back page. Behind. I'm talking, sir. You're also behind in your child support. You have not made all your payments. Maybe some of that was from a judgment before. I don't know. But you have an arrears that you owe from the past for your first child in the amount of $11,184.91. So altogether, both those numbers add up to $12,050.91 of what you owe for the past for both children, including the arrears and the retroactive child support. I'm ordering that to be paid at $120 a month. Medicals for arrears are $64.96, uh, payable at $10 a month. You might be able to pay that off if you want. Um, I'm y'all agreed to no residency restriction. Uh, I'm adding into the order that we have a 24 hour notice of intent to visit. So Mr. Jones, you need to let Ms. Versi know when you're going to do your visitation or if you're Hold not going to do your visitation. Uh, so you need to text her uh, to tell her you're coming or you're not coming. If she does not receive a text from you on Friday by 24 hours, then, you know, like let's say Thursday at six, then she's going to have to find somebody to take care of the child on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and make other plans. You cannot change the visitation to wherever you like, Mr. Jones. You have a right, you have the, you have the only the obligation to pick up at Friday at six. That's it. Not Saturday, not Sunday, Friday at six. If Ms. Versi wants to do something in addition to that, different times, that's up to her. But otherwise, you're supposed to be picking up at Friday at six and dropping off on Sunday at six. I'm doing the standard visitation that we had before for the first child, but I'm exp I'm trying to explain that you have to pick up on time. Ms. Versi's main argument is that you're not coming on time or you're coming whenever you wanna come. You cannot do that. I don't know what's going on with the new child, but uh, you have to come on time so that she can plan ahead because she may have to get a caregiver if she's got to work on the weekend. He listening to all this and I gonna do shit. Have to do. You have to show up on time, Mr. Jones, period. Friday at six or no visitation with either child at all. That's the way it's going to be. Uh, you're, neither one of you requests a non-disclosure, court costs us bills. Um, it's not good. Now, granted, I'm with the judge. Um, pretty much, you got to see both of the kids. It can't be one or the other. But at the same time, I feel like he going to punish your aunts and leave both of them there just to get back at her because he don't want to have to pay more in child support. Yikes. Good to be cursing out the mother of your child. You're cursing out your children, too. They're, these children are 50% her blood. So anything you say about her, you're saying about your own child. Think about that the next time. I understand that y'all are frustrated with each other, uh, but it shouldn't carry over into anything else. Uh, you need to be respectful of each other as parents of these children and uh, you know, understanding that they are 50% each of, of each of you. And so if you say something bad about them, they're gonna you're saying something bad about your child. I don't think you want to say, anything bad about your children. So make sure you stop doing that, Mr. Jones, uh, so that we can get this going. And understand that you have to show up on time. I don't hear Ms. Versi saying she doesn't want to let you visit. She just doesn't want you showing up whenever you want to show up. So you should know your schedule or make your schedule. Uh, if you know you can't get off of work that weekend, then you let her know on Thursday that you cannot make it. 
Um, if she decides to want to change the time, that's up to her. But if she says no, then you don't get a visitation that weekend. Otherwise, you let her know on Thursday night, I'm coming, and you show up on Friday at 6. I can't stress that enough. I've already said it twice. That's what needs to happen to help the situation a lot better. The Attorney General's office will draft an order and email you both a copy. Read the order if you have any questions. Y'all are done with court. You can Wait, I don't get out Your Honor. Your Honor. All right, I can answer your questions, but I'm not going to change my mind. You've already told me what y'all wanted to tell me. I made a decision on what y'all decided to tell me. Uh, Mr. Jones, you had a question? or? Nah, I don't get out till 6 o'clock. So how can I be there at 6 o'clock if I don't get out till 6 o'clock? That's a fair question. Uh, what time do you get out? I get off at 6, and I be I come from Plano, and I got to drive to Dallas to pick the baby up. So I usually be there by 7, 7.30. Okay. We can change the order to 7.30. Will that work for you? That would be fine. Okay, not 11 o'clock, but 7.30. Okay, and then Sunday at 6 is okay? Yes. Okay. Do I still get my summertime visitations and stuff like that, 30 days on summer? Yeah. Or do I, I get all that still? Yes. And when does that go in effect? July 1st. Wow. Okay, and for Lance, I still ain't seen him none this summer. So am I able to get him for the summer on my 30 days? Or? When I talk about it, I talk about both children. I don't talk about one child. Okay, I oh, thought okay. that's right. He keeps talking about land. Cool, appreciate it. Okay. Uh, this small All right, so that'll be the order. Y'all are done with court. You can press leave on the Zoom deck. And the baby is the one I'll be sending out the door first. Right. That was a fucking mess, girl. I cannot. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts about this man who on the one has want to do with just one of the child, the children that he created. Girl, this is a fucking mess. Um, and he better get both of the babies. Okay? And pay what you're supposed to pay. All right? But that's really all that I got. Y'all leave y'all thoughts and comments down below. I'm Jamie. That's me. Don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jamie. That's me. Like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah. King of my city in cul de sac. Uh, Coming, I swing like soldier rat. Yeah. Leading my people like quarterback. Why well, I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Yeah. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Yeah. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Yeah. Spinning the block for the gooder, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. Yeah. We don't do beef on computers, so I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Yeah. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. Uh -huh. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully oppressed. Yeah. I was ready for years and they doubted me. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Uh -huh. Cross my mind, I came back with some battery. Stand for my honor, but you run no corner. Packing a stick with a drum.